Hello and welcome to this tutorial which is an explanation of Hess's law. So what I've set up here is uh, actually three reactions and uh, let's imagine we've got some reactants, so we've got some compounds here they react and they give some different compounds when the bonding's changed when we end up uh, in the products but uh, let's imagine some other reactions which are elements going to those uh, reactants or elements going to those products and let's say we know these values here now, if we know those two values there, the question is, can we work out the unknown enthalpy change? And, of course, you can, because it's just the difference between the blue and the red. Now, one way of working this out is to say, well, we're, we, to go th instead of going this way, we're going to go up the red arrow, down the blue arrow. So I'm going to change the sign of the red, keep the sign of the blue the same. So if delta H for the red is minus 50, you're going to change that to plus 50, keep the minus 90 the same, which gives an overall change of uh, minus 40 kilojoules per mole. And this is an application of Hess's law, because Hess's law says that the enthalpy change of a reaction is independent of the pathway. So either we can go that way, or we can go that way. I mean, another way of thinking of it would be in terms of vectors. We could say, well, what's this vector here? What's the magnitude and direction of the purple? Well, it's going to be the blue one, subtract the red one here. Alternatively, you could just set up a little equation to say, well, delta H purple is equal to delta H blue minus delta H red. There's a, there's a sort of simpler model of Hess's law, which is seen something like this, where we've got rid of the axes here, and uh, but, but really things are the same. We're going from elements to the reactants or from elements to the products. Now, commonly, this is actually drawn the other way up, this way round. So now we have elements at the bottom uh, but nonetheless, the arrows are the same, and to work out delta H unknown, we would go down that arrow to so change that sign to plus 50, and up that arrow to so keep that as minus 90.